Hello, so this this question is totally please metric. So you're gonna return true if the metric is totally please something like this. So what does this metric mean? So every diagonal from top left to bottom right has the same element. So what we can actually do is that we traverse a metric and if i and j greater than zero, so which means starting from here, so I'm I'm gonna check my top left only because on the next element I'm going to check my top left as well. So it will actually, you know, check in my top left and bottom right at the same time, but just different iteration. Right? And this one will check over here. So what I would do is I'm going to. So in this one, you return false is because like this value doesn't equal to this one, right? So a little bit tricky, is, you know. I mean, you can start in from i equal to zero, i less than matrix dot lens, and then i plus plus. So j equal to zero, j equal to matrix. At zero dot lens and then j plus plus and then you just declare if i is greater than zero and also j equal j greater than zero and also greater than zero come on and also the metric at i minus one j minus one which is the top left does not equal to the current value ij you want to return false and every time you return true so this is from i and j equal to zero, right? So let me submit and I will change the value later. So this the time and space is going to be all of m times m, depending on the metric length and uh, width. All right. So if this is one, let me run it. Submit. All right. So it's a little bit better. I'm just a little. Bit. All right. So if you have a question, I mean the time and space are going to be the same. Space is constant. Time is, you know, all of n times n. So if you have a question, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye.